today and today's video i'm going to be showing you how i dyed my hair this purple color um it didn't really turn out how i expected it to turn out but i'm not too mad at it like my ends are super purple and i don't know it's like reddish purple but that's because my hair has been through a lot of shit and i really fucked it up to be honest with you i fucked it up so yeah what i did was i used color oops to remove the remnants of um this black dye i used because it was fading and my brown was coming out my ends were getting all light and i didn't like that um so i rocked that for a little bit it ended, it ended up being like a reddish um ombre to like orangey blonde because i had dyed red over bleached hair my bleach tried to bleach my ends and do like a balayage balayage thing and that didn't work clearly so i went and got this arctic fox um semi-permanent hair color and the color purple rain and yeah so my ends like my ends are purpley. It looks real more more so purple in the light, but um, this is what I was left with, and I'm not mad at it because I missed my dark hair, and so now it's like dark with a little pop of color. And I mean, I fuck with it. I fucks with it. Anyway, so if you want to see my process and what I did to get this hair color and dye my little hair, then keep watching. So as you can see, my hair looks like shit. <laughs> I honestly have been dyeing my hair a lot and doing a lot of shit to it because I just been getting bored with myself. Like I be wanting to change and you know, I just do that with my hair. Like I'm really trying not to cut it all off to be honest because I always cut it off and then I hate it. Like I love it, then I hate it. And I'm just an indecisive ass person. I really am. You can see Shelby my video right there. We were watching American Idol, so yeah. And I'm honestly terrible at dyeing my hair. Like I have really screwed myself up with bleach before. When I tried to do like a balayage, balayage thing. I don't know how to say it. But I really fucked my shit up before, y'all. I mean, look at it. Honestly, it turned out cool when I took the color out because it was like a little ombre action going on. But like my hair is like permanently red underneath. I cannot get the red out no matter what I do, which is annoying as fuck. And I love my hair red, but like red is the devil when you really put it in your hair because it is not going to come out, sis. It's just not. But anyway, so I've really gotten better at dyeing my hair because I take my time with it now. Which could be a bad thing because like it sits on my hair a long time, the color, but you know, whatever. This is a semi-permanent color. And so it didn't require any developer or anything like that. And it's supposed to be not too bad for your hair. So I figured like we'll do a temporary little purple look. But anyway, I keep saying anyway. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say it again because what else am I going to say? Anyway, I love, uh, what's it called? Separate my hair. Um, What the fuck is it called? section my hair i section my hair out like really pretty much thin in thin sections so i can really saturate every little um every little piece of it because you know i wanted it all to be purple even though it didn't turn out like that you know it was still cute for a little bit i currently just dyed my hair black because <laughs> i miss my dark hair self i think the black hair me is the cutest me and um i was tired of my hair not being even colors so i dyed it all black and it's a lot better now but i didn't record that one because i just didn't i told myself from now on i'm gonna be just ordering nice wigs and um trying those if i want another color and i'm thinking about ordering a red wig a red bob because i miss short hair and why not spice it the fuck up with some color um so yeah that's probably gonna come in the future and i'll do a review on a wig a short red bob wig mm -hmm. 
this probably took me like an hour to do because I was really just trying to be thorough because I know since it's semi-permanent it's not gonna like do as much as a permanent would so I really just wanted to saturate every strand of it with hopes that it would turn everything purple but clearly it turned the red more red but I mean it was like purple but red it's really hard to explain that's why I said you can see it better in the light and I wish I would have gone outside or something but I didn't I really want to try like SZA orange or something like that. I was going to dye my hair that color, my real hair, but I'm sure it would have been a fucking disaster. So eventually I'm going to order a wig, maybe like a long wavy wig like that too when I get some money, you know. But yeah, that's something I want to try too for sure. So I just like parted it and made sure I got every um, part of my roots and I look fucking cockeyed right there. What the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> I looked cockeyed as hell. Okay, so I twisted it up and I put a cap on my head and I let it sit for like 25 minutes, even though I feel like that shit was in my hair for a long ass time. But I let it sit for like 25 minutes and then I rinsed it out. So this is with flash um, on my blow dried hair before I straightened it. And this is when I straightened it. And as you can see, it's a lot more purple on the ends. And this is when I had it curly or whatever. And I mean, it was cool. Definitely fun for the moment. I enjoyed it. And right here, you can see it's like a mixture of red and purple. And I mean, it was pretty cute, y'all. So anyway, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be bringing more to y'all soon.